Hello and welcome to a little Destiny 2 video in which I showcase how to start activities solo in order to see that the match matchmaking is still working. I'll start a uh, strike and as you can see I'm alone now but any second see there are some other players but I don't want that. So the script is super easy all you need to do is um, invoke PowerShell as an administrator like this super easy. So there you have the PowerShell console, it's standard for Windows 10, it should be there. And then you have this little script. The first half of the script is basically um, adding some firewall rules with some specific port ports so that other players cannot join you. Then you just press enter and if everything is okay, you don't see any red lines, you see these white lines. So this has been activated, absolutely fine. So if we go back to destiny and one important thing is you have to be in orbit. You can't do that while you are in the tower or in any activity. You need to be in the orbit. Okay. Then let's check it out. This may take a while because destiny now is trying to um, match other players into my session, but it will not succeed. It maybe tries it for one minute or so, and then it will just, um, let me enter the activity completely alone. You can also visit the tower alone. You can also visit um, the, the worlds alone, like the open world and mess around with them. So basically anything you want to do by yourself, um, you can use the script for. The only limitation I found so far is Gambit. So it won't uh, let you enter Gambit all alone, <laughs> which of course doesn't make sense. But um, yeah, that's the case. As you can see, it tries to match other players, but it will not succeed. And at any point from now, um, I will be loaded into the strike completely alone. And the benefit is I can um, fulfill some quests or instead of actually playing the strike, I could go to any lost sectors and kill some um, special bosses in order to, I don't know, fulfill some quests or whatever you want to do. See, and now I will be loaded into the strike. All right, pretty straightforward. Now, in order to deactivate the script, it's super easy. We just need to remove um, the rules we um, uh, had in place now. So this is the other half of the script. So we need to execute the um, removing of the rules. The problem is, again, I have to be in orbit. So what I will do now, I'll just go back to the orbit. Here we go. Yes, fine. Then I go back to PowerShell. Or basically just copy these things here. Boom. And now these rules should be removed. You don't get any fancy um, success message or anything, but we don't need that. And if we now want to play with our pals again, all the blueberries, it should work. Okay, so pretty easy. And I can repeat myself again, the script is absolutely harmless. You can use it, it's not a big um, sneaky thing. Uh, super easy, super fine. Okay, so that's it for the video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, you will find all the stuff in the description below and see you in the next video. Goodbye.